There are times when working at a movie theater is a job I wish I hadn't been hired for. Especially one with a balcony. Poignantly so when someone throws a bucket of fake vomit from the peak of said balcony, covering patrons below and causing a chain reaction of reverse peristalsis. This is Jonathan Dwyer, the manager of Cinema 5. I'm Abe Zanarkin, and I get to investigate this literal mess sifting through the moist, soft chunks to determine the culprit that no one even saw. I'm real sorry about this, Mr. Dwyer. It's just procedure. I coddle him. What's the movie about? Uh, it's about a guy who plays chess with the devil. It's a spiritual journey. What do you know about chess? Uh, it's a gentleman's game. Clever and cunning. I begin the main course. I dig in close. My face is inches from his. He can almost feel the stubble of my cheek. Didn't you say you were going to ruin this theater, Dwyer? <laughs> that was a misunderstanding. You said you were going to do it, and here we are. <clears throat> I understand this is part of your job, officers in Arkin, but I said that in frustration. And I think I would be a little bit more clever and inconspicuous than administering puke during a showing. I didn't know clever was part of your game. You know, the person that should be in this chair, I, I think you should be talking to Kevin. What did you have for dinner last night, Kevin? Typical overachieving employee. It was just a, a sandwich, turkey, lunch meat, and cheese. I'll bet he cleans up vomit on a daily basis, hoping for one more gold star. Robocop and He-Man produced a love child. What would he look like? I guess he'd, he'd be strong and... You got metal boots? What's the movie about? Man plays the devil in chess. What do you know about chess? If you're gonna make a movie about a game, make it an action movie. Use Doom. Why'd you do it, Kevin? Do what? Stop lying to me, Kevin. You did this. I don't know who did it. But Tom Barrett, he was here today. I saw him. He's gonna tell me what I already know. He's got a record for stuff like this. You need to talk to him. You know what I mean? Some dude dumps vomit all over everybody. I wish I had done it. You did it, Tom. What, Brennan helped you? What? Nah, man, that ain't me. Look at your records. You two, you Cagney and Lacey. Who is that? I said I'd wish I'd done it. Not that I did do it. What not me. What's the movie about? It's about some impossible game of chess with the devil. What do you know about chess? Some stupid game, man. Hey, I want to speak. I'm talking right now, Tom. Anticipating his words, I stare him down. You'll get your turn in a minute. Yeah, about that. Let me speak. I'll let you speak. On his way as a lifetime drain to society, I can see it now. I'm talking to you, Tom. You don't seem very interested in this conversation, Tom. What are you doing, Tom? I know this game. I've played it before. Silently judging you, man. I'm not gonna believe your lies. That sounds like a guilty plea to me. Brenna, Tom and I just had quite the interesting conversation. He just won't shut up once you get him wound. I can't tell if it's implication or reflex. So what's the movie about? A guy, chess and the devil. And what do you know about chess? They should have used the game Doom. No one wants to watch a slow game like chess. So why'd you do it, Brenna? Whatever you think I did, I didn't. Wherever you think I was, I wasn't. I wouldn't do anything like that. 
Well, I appreciate that. I know you wouldn't normally dump bile on people. You were coerced, right? I can help you out of this. I wouldn't. I like this place. It's not the nicest, but it's the cheapest. I think you should look into the employees. They've got reason for this. Where were you, Glenn? It was like looking down on George McFly. I was here. What, here? Do you mean on the balcony, dumping your own vomit on patrons below? I was working. You were working? Well, nobody saw you. Hey, why don't we go to Juvenile Hall, Glenn? You think you'd like that? Fine. I was in Dwyer's office. I was on his computer, surfing the web. Where did you go? To his office. The site! What site did you go to? I watch as Glenn's eyes dart quickly to the right. I was... it was a video gaming site. I was... I was reading about video games. I see his shame. Good. That's all I wanted to know, Glenn. Now get out of my room and go fantasize about Mario Pump some mushrooms. Glenn? What's the movie about? I pause and wait for him to turn around. A guy playing chess with the devil. What do you know about chess? It's not checkers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes round one. Place your bets, people, because Abe Zanarkin is going to blow this thing wide open. Look, Kevin, Brenna's going to give you up. She isn't going back to Juvie. Not for you. Are you going to take the fall? I'm trying to help you out here, Kevin. This is going to ruin your life. Do you know what Juvie's like? You were having some fun and it got out of hand. Brenna doesn't even flinch. I change direction. What, did you fall in with the wrong people? Gotcha. You didn't want to, but what could you do, right? Look, it's like this. Let's try the beginning, Kevin. Tell me what happened. I already did. I said from the beginning, Kevin! Come on, Brenna. I'm done talking to you. Well, that's good. That's real good, because Kevin, he's not. Kevin wants to save his life. That's right. Do I have your attention now? Abe Zanarkin, that's me. I won't bore you with the rest of the story. We both know it ends with me riding into the sunset. You may wonder how I knew. Simply put, I can spot a liar. More than that, I know your lie. Do I have your attention now?